G'day, this is Ray. Welcome, or welcome back, to another episode about life in Thailand. Recently, a few viewers have asked about bringing their pets into Thailand. So if you want to come to Thailand and bring your furry friend with you, watch this video. Because today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know to bring your pet or pets to Thailand. Now let's get on with the topic. Thailand is a, a beautiful country and it has much to offer for pet owners. You can safely fly your dog or cat to Thailand as long as your pet meets all veterinary and administrative conditions prescribed by the Department of Livestock Development in Thailand. There are several steps in the pet import process in Thailand and it is mandatory to fulfill every step for your pet to be allowed into the country. If you're planning to travel to Thailand with your pet cat or dog, here's what you need to know. All dogs and cats entering Thailand need to be microchipped with an ISO compliant microchip. Your local vet can microchip your pet or cat for you. Microchips have a unique 15 digit number that is used to identify your pet. Make sure all your pet's records and documentation contain the correct microchip number. Only pet dogs and cats that are healthy and free from disease are permitted to enter Thailand. You will have to furnish an animal health certificate that has been endorsed by your vet and a full-time authorized official of the government of the country of export. The health certificate must clearly state that the pet dog or cat is healthy and fit to travel. Vaccination, identification and ownership details must be recorded on the health certificate. The health certificate is valid for 10 days from the date of issue. So it is important that you arrive in Thailand with your pet within 10 days after endorsement. Hey, by the way, if my videos are helpful to you, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. If your pet dog or cat has lived in a country that is free from rabies for at least 12 months, they do not require a rabies vaccination to enter Thailand. However, since Thailand is not a rabies free country, it is recommended to vaccinate your pet for rabies before traveling. The vaccination will protect your pet as well as make it easier when you return from Thailand. If your pet is traveling from a country that is not free from rabies, he or she has to be vaccinated with an approved rabies vaccine not less than 21 days and not more than one year before the date of travel. A vaccination card that clearly displays all vaccination details including the date of vaccination, batch number, and the expiration date has to accompany the pet. Thailand does not require a rabies teeter test for pet cats and dogs entering from any country. All pets traveling to Thailand must be vaccinated for leptospirosis at least 21 days before the date of travel. Alternatively, your pet can take a leptospirosis test with a negative result within 30 days of the date of travel. Pet dogs traveling to Thailand need mandatory vac vaccinations of distemper, hepatitis and parvovirus at least 21 days before the date of departure. Pet cats traveling to Thailand have to be vaccinated against rabies, feline pan leukopenia virus at least 21 days before the date of travel to be able to enter the country. It is recommended to vaccinate against other common cat diseases such as feline cat flu, feline viral, viral uh, rhinotracheitis and chlamydia sitakia, sitachi before moving to Thailand. Pet dogs and cats must be treated for internal and external parasites before flying to Thailand. External parasite treatment includes medication for ticks and fleas and internal parasite treatment treats against tapeworm, heartworm, etc. 
Ask your vet to prescribe medication for parasites around seven days before you are scheduled to fly. Pets entering Thailand need an import permit from the Department of Livestock Development before travelling. The permit is valid for 60 days and the application can be downloaded from the department website. Pet dogs and cats travelling internationally must always travel in an IATA approved travel crate. The crate must be big enough for your pet to stand up, turn around and lay down comfortably. The crates must be nose and paw proof to avoid the risk of inadvertent injuries. Remember to acquire the crates a few weeks before the date of travel and crate train your pet to make him or her comfortable with staying long hours in the carrier. Pets that fulfill all import conditions and do not display any signs of illness will not be subject to quarantine when they arrive in Thailand. However, it is left to the discretion of the quarantine officer to detain or quarantine pets that need inspection or further tests upon arrival. Thailand prohibits the entry of aggressive breeds such as Pitbull Terrier and American Staffordshire Terrier into the country. Okay, I'll put a link in the description to the site with all the info you need that, uh, you know, for the importation of pets. So plop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. And if there's something in particular that you'd like to know about living in Thailand, put it in the comment below and I will endeavor to satisfy your curiosity. Okay, folks, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching and a big thanks to those of you who bought me a coffee. I hope, I hope you got value from this video. And until the next video, share this video, take care and bye for now.